So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. I'm back on camera once again. No, I'm not just this guy who sits behind the camera with some hands making phone videos. I'm a real person. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about my favorite phones for the month of June 2018. A lot of people ask me the question, you know what, you make a lot of reviews, you make a lot of videos, but you talk about which phones to get, which ones are the best, which should you buy, da 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 What is your favorite phone, Nick? And that is what my goal is here. Now, I keep multiple phones in use, so I don't just use one. I cannot be tethered to one operating system. I can't stand that because I like to be open-minded and see what every operating system has to offer. Now, when it comes to a desktop environment, that's a little bit different because I don't really wanna move thousands of gigabytes of files every, each and every day. So I recently switched over to Mac OS for the video editing software and I've been loving it. But let's get into those phones here for the month of June, 2018. And another thing is go ahead and share your favorite phones going into the summer, because believe it or not, the phones that you share down below trickle into sometimes long threads of discussions and it helps other users decide if they wanna get that phone as well. Okay guys, so here we are. Here are the four phones that I use the most. I'm sure most of you can name them already without me even talking about them. And all of these phones are in my pocket and I use all of them all of the time. These are my favorites here. Let me get the elephant out of the room. Which one is my ultimate favorite here? That's the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, a lot of people have forgotten about this phone. They don't talk about it anymore because the Galaxy S9 Plus stole the limelight. Now, the Note 9's got to come back and steal the limelight once again. But I still like the Note 8 even more than the Galaxy S9 Plus just because it has a pen. Now, while the S9 Plus does have superior low light capabilities, I just can't take that phone over this phone because it's just bigger. It just feels like the ultimate Samsung phone here with the Note 8. Now, the reason why I think that this is the ultimate phone is because mostly because it feels like a little mini computer and that's mostly due to this pen you can hover when you are in the browser so if i go and do any search in the samsung browser for example i can go ahead and you know just hover just like a real computer here so let me go ahead and just search i was searching the calves when they were playing let's go ahead and you could see if i do this i could just hover down and that makes it act like a little mouse when you're using the device. So having this tool makes it feel like a little mouse. And then you could go ahead and cut things out. You can, I don't know, the, just the way you navigate this phone, it just feels like a mini computer. It's really cool. And you could stick things into the USB-C and transfer files with this. You can put mouses in. And it's got the largest feel of any smartphone. So for me, the ultimate smartphone still is the Note series, even though it doesn't get as much attention as the other devices. It has pretty much everything. It has the beautiful large display. It has the wireless charging. It has fast charging. It doesn't have the best battery life and it doesn't have the best fingerprint location but it has great cameras and it has an awesome you know expandable storage so overall to me this is the ultimate smartphone but i don't use it all that much right now because of its size on the day-to-day -day. sometimes it's just too big too much to handle for the day-to-day -day. it's just a little bit you know cumbersome using this in your pocket all the time when you're out doing things to me, this is a phone that's really good for business use or you know, if you're just trying to not have no tablet and you just want everything in one package, that's when I recommend the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. It is my favorite ultimate smartphone. Let's get on to number two, which is going to be right now, the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now the Google Pixel 2 XL is my second favorite phone right now because it's such a really clean, minimal software here in Android 8.0 Oreo. Also, I really do like the display. A lot of people say the blue tint is a horrible thing, but once they brought the colors mode, I really just appreciate the resolution, how high it is on this phone. It's a really sharp panel, even though you know, it has that little tinge sometime of blue. It's a really sharp panel and it really came back when it got the colors mode that allowed it to go into the saturated feature. So it's a really good phone once you get that update. And I really like the resolution. Also, I like the fact that you can squeeze this phone to activate Google Assistant. It's very handy, especially when you got your hands full. You got one hand over here full with something, you know, your bicycle riding or something, and then you go ahead and you squeeze. You can just ask questions or if you're running or whatever and you just don't got time to be pressing buttons, just squeeze the phone ask it something i really appreciate that i also appreciate the amazing camera 
on the Pixel 2 XL. This camera is so smart. It just knows what to do and it stores high resolution photos in Google Photos. So I really do love the Pixel 2 for those two things, the squeeze feature and the assistant. In addition to that, you will get software updates because this is Google's baby right here for a few years at least. So this phone is not going to leave you in the dust with old, you know, software updates. You'll get system updates. You'll get uh, security updates as well. And you'll be running the latest version of Android before everybody else. So it's clean, minimal factor. The nice inclusion of front speakers here, great camera, solid battery life, and just overall, just a clean, easy to use experience. The Pixel 2 XL is a very practical phone. And I like practicality over, you know, just looks. So that's why why Pixel 2 is my second favorite phone. At number three is the iPhone 8 Plus. Now the iPhone 8 Plus does get in this list because I personally like the 8 Plus a little bit more most of the time than the iPhone 10, just because it's a larger phone. Now that's gonna change more than likely when Apple brings the phone that's a little bit bigger, but the same style as the iPhone 10. But until then, the 8 Plus sits in my list as my favorite phone from Apple because this phone kinda, you know, just has the larger feeling display. And quite honestly, I like switching it up to LCD sometimes. When you're using all these OLED displays, using an LCD panel is refreshing once in a while. Now I know a lot of people are gonna disagree, but sometimes LCD is just easier on the eye to me. And overall, I really liked the Plus series of iPhones ever since the you know 6S Plus came around. And one thing I really like is this mode right here, how you can switch into the landscape. Now the S9 Plus can do that as well, but the Note 8 can't. But I really do like that. It makes it feel like a little iPad mini. And the 8 Plus basically has the same great camera that comes on the iPhone 10, which is competitive with the Pixel, but it's not quite there, but it's still a pretty good natural looking camera. Touch ID remains, so it feels classic to use this phone. It's just very easy all around to use the 8 Plus. In addition to that, you get the product red edition color now, which is a nice, beautiful color. My favorite color combo, red and black. I really like that color combo. So really awesome phone here in the 8 Plus. Even though it has a thicker bezels, it's a really practical phone to use on the day to day, although it is pretty heavy. So, you know, it doesn't get my use all the time because it's because of that heaviness. And one thing else I wanna mention about that 8 Plus is that battery life. The battery life on the 8 Plus is just phenomenal. No matter what you're doing, you know, this phone will just easily last you all day, especially on the later updates to 11.4, it's gotten even better. And finally, let me talk about the Huawei P20 Pro, the underdog here, the one nobody's gonna comment about. I see you guys, anytime I talk about the P20 Pro, nobody cares. Almost nobody comments. I get like two people saying something about the P20 Pro and likely in this video, you're gonna ignore the fact about this section I'm talking about the Huawei phone right here because it's not popular where you're at or because you're just more loyal to Apple or Samsung or someone else. But let me tell you something, let me set the record straight here. This Huawei P20 Pro is definitely playing on the same level as all these phones and I'm telling you this because I've experienced all of them. It actually has better battery life than all three of these. It has a similar display to the iPhone 10, and the Kirin 970 is a very fast processor. It's very fluid. EMUI doesn't really slow down too much. Yes, it's not the prettiest operating system on the planet, but this phone just works. The Huawei P20, it just works. I have one problem with it. Sometimes the brightness levels automatically change even though I turned off automatic brightness. But other than that, it's been fantastic. And mostly that triple camera. That camera right there can do an incredible amount of zoom. Now I know a lot of people don't care for zoom, but when you have 5X zoom on a phone, you will start caring about zoom. And then you have the night mode on here, which makes this phone take incredible night photos. And you have monochrome sensor as well, dedicated solely just to taking those black and white photos. Now this can be gimmick to some, I would rather had a third wide angle camera that would have been much better. But overall, even though this phone feels inspired by the iPhone 10, it's still a fantastic phone. And due to its battery life and its comfortable ergonomics for a six inch display, this phone feels very comfortable for its size. The Huawei P20 Pro is definitely in my list of rotation. And to be quite honest, this and the Pixel 2 XL are the ones I've been using the most in the past month or so, but my favorite ultimate phone will be the Note 8. Now, some honorable mentions, you're gonna say, come on, Nick, man, did you really just make a phone about the best phones, your favorite phones without mentioning the iPhone 10 in that list? or the GS9 Plus got a case on that one right now. And the fact of the matter is yes, because 
personally, you know, the iPhone 10, while it is an awesome device, I really like the iPhone 10. Like I said earlier, it's too small to be my main everyday phone. There's just times when I got to pinch and zoom in on things because the screen is too small. 5.8 is like the smaller screen in 2018. 6.0 inches and above is the larger device is usually a 6.3. So personally, for what I do, I, you know, I do those little Excel spreadsheets. I'm running a business on my phone. This just, it's just a little too small for me, but it is a sexy, stylish phone. So if you're into style over practicality, you'll love the iPhone 10. Now for the S9 Plus, it doesn't qualify as being too small to be my favorite daily phone, but at the same time, it does, it is the favorite for many because it does offer the all-in-one package, but if it doesn't have a pen. So for me, that's why the Samsung Note 8 is here over the Galaxy S9 Plus. That's basically the only reason. Also the fact that I like the more flat feeling display of the Note 8. It just feels easier on the eye to me than the curved display. It's also easier to put screen protectors on. So to me, I like that more square feel the more flat display over this curved display again you know practicality over style so that's it those are my favorite smartphones for the month of june 2018 now don't be discouraged if you've seen this video and you didn't see your favorite phone in there that's why i said go ahead and comment yours down below and if there's any reviews that i haven't done on certain phones make sure that you ask the question because while i can't get to all of them i will take into account everything that you are saying and try to bring as many as possible if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing any sort of way go ahead and click the like button for me if you didn't like it thumbs down that's fine too subscribe for more if you haven't already we got plenty of contents coming your way this summer nick helping you to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next episode and peace